one, two, uh. I hit the bag when I wake up, pound for pound, I'm greater, nobody wanna step up to me, cause every second I get better, got no time to settle, I'm a legend, what the hell is the fee? Uh. There are so many different ways that you can introduce Kevin Byard. Number 31, the mayor of Murfreesboro, Pro Bowl safety. But how about this one, Kevin Byard? United Way spokesperson for Metro Nashville. Congratulations. How did that come about? Well, I appreciate it, Mike. Uh, honestly, it came about uh, this offseason. Uh, obviously, you know, things happen in this business of football. Jarrell Casey ended up getting traded to the Denver Broncos, and I understand that he was the spokesperson here for a few years. And so once the opportunity came about, you know, the Titans kind of reached out to me, and United Way asked also and told me they wanted me to be the spokesperson. It's a tremendous honor. Like I've always spoke about, you know, once I got to the NFL and I got to this position, this platform, I want to be able to give back to the community. And uh, what better way to give back with United Way? I mean, our partnership has, has been so tremendous and beneficial to the community. You know, we just kind of did our Stuff the Bus campaign and was able to give a lot of equipment, school supplies, and much needed stuff uh, for the kids as they begin school. So it's been awesome. Through the United Way and through camps and various things, it's always kids with you. That's the way it always sort of seems is that Kevin Byard is always trying to give back specifically to kids. And, and we all love kids, but for you and your experience, why are they such a big deal and why are they such a focus? I mean, the, the, the kids and the youth, they're our future. It's just something that obviously when I was growing up, man, I understand that I didn't have a lot of opportunities or different things like that growing up. So when I got to this platform, I knew that I wanted to be able to give back to this because at the end of the day, you know, if I can touch this one child, just spark their brain or just be able to give them something, give them some type of motivation, uh, it could change their entire life. So I just understand how important that is to the future of our country, to the future of our world, that the youth, you know, has every opportunity to be successful as possible. How have you not forgotten where you come from? I mean, it's just simple, man. I just try to stay humble, try to keep a really good foundation. I have really good people around me, my, my wife, my family back home. I think it's just, it's just easy not to forget where you came from when at the end of the day, I'm always just constantly just being reminded, you know, how blessed I am. I just always keep remembering where I came from, where I came from. It, it's just who I am, honestly. Well, when we did one of our first interviews with you, you told us you're gonna buy your mom a house. Mm -hmm. And I told her that Give me at least two, three more years, and I'm gonna buy you that big house that you want on the hill, and you ain't gotta worry about nothing for real, for real. So, and you did it, <laughs> and we and we saw that, and when you said that, it moved people to tears, and then when they saw the pictures this off season of you doing that, a, a lot of people got emotional. Can you describe what that was like, fulfilling? What was a dream for you? Yeah, honestly, man, it was. I've kind of spoke about it when I posted on Instagram, but honestly, it, it was a pipe dream for me. One of, or if not, the biggest accomplishment I've ever accomplished since I've been in the NFL. Do you feel like you're a sort of a motivator or a mentor for younger players? Who, because you're not really a young player anymore. You're sort of in that mid-range now. Right, right. Yeah, honestly, I try to be both. I mean, I always try to motivate everybody by my actions. I don't really like to talk a lot, but when I feel the need to talk and, and speak to the young guys, I always try to tell them, man, hey, I was in the same position, you know, I feel like I've always been doubted. I feel like I've a lot of different stages in my life people can use for examples to try to keep going and keep going. So that's kind of the spokesperson I want to be. I want to be a spokesperson for the people that have been doubted before in their life or feel like they wasn't getting the recognition they deserve, that it really doesn't matter. It's all about being a great person, having a great heart, you know, and good things happen to great people. So that's what I try to do. It ain't about what they do. It's about what we do. Yeah. It's about the intensity we bring. Yeah. It's about the shit that we do. Yeah. Let's go hard, man. Give me your all on every single play. Because I'm going to give you my all. And I'm going to put on everything. We look up to you in so many different ways. But I think for a lot of us, we admire your courage as we wrap up this interview. Two kids within like uh, <laughs> 11 months. Are, are you ready for this? Uh, You know, I don't think you, you're necessarily always ready. You know, I just try to. <laughs> I've been trying to prepare myself for this for a long time, and you kind of, you know, just like the NFL, man, it's an ever-changing league, and my life is ever-changing right now. So I just kind of go with the flows, and like you said, remain positive, and just always think about positivity. And it, it's just a blessing. That's what I kind of look at. God's been blessing me with a great responsibility to be able to raise two children uh, and be married and have a wife and raise a family. So I'm just trying to be the best man and the best husband and the best father that I can possibly be.